Greetings, Great Witch here. So now we're up to our third DJ, Dixon. Now normally I wouldn't do a mission like this because they're pretty simple, but this one kind of annoyed me, so I wanted to show you how I got through this one pretty simple. Now, if you got all your promoting done, you got time to do some stuff, you want to hire a new DJ, basically you just come over to your resident DJ area, and it's $100,000 to book one of these new DJs, which I kind of really don't like because it doesn't increase the, you know, the money that you're making for the club. So that's kind of a ripoff. All right, so pick this dude up. This is a big one, mate. 11 hour sets. He'll play everything. I once saw him wait a whole hour before even dropping a beat. I had had a half of the old spirit molecule, mine, so maybe my timekeeping was a little off. But you get my point. He's the party professor, and he's playing our joint. Lovely jubbly. I'm heading over to the Richmond Hotel now, picking him up. Meet us there, sharpish, all right? All right. Seems simple enough. You got to go pick this guy up from the hotel. But of course, there's going to be an issue. Because they're sniffy and he's all spacey. Catcher. Little problem. Hey, what's up? Oh, hey, Dixon, my man. Hold on, wait there a sec. I was watching his stuff. There's some nictic. I was in the car, see, freshening up the pipes. You know how it is. Spiritual twist sort of thing. Fucking hell, some little bugger robbed me. Oh, my God. That's his bag there. You go get it back. I'll distract the talent. Dicky boy. Have you ever considered getting Reiki? It's very spiritual. What the fuck is Reiki? Okay, so now you gotta chase this dude who's being driven on a motorcycle. And you're like, wow, this shouldn't be too hard. I'm in a pretty awesome car. Dude's on a motorcycle. I should be able to catch up pretty quick. You'd think that. But this guy is some of the best marksmanship you'll ever see in the game. And he is, for some reason, has the ability to make your car spin out when you get close. It's ridiculous. You'll understand it once you start trying to do this. But another thing is, for some reason, he can't be knocked off the motorcycle unless you're going a certain speed, too. And he's bulletproof. Yep, you can't shoot him off the bike. So what I recommend doing is calling in something with some ramming power. I called in my Night Shark and made short work of it. Now, the vehicle that you were driving, you need to keep somewhere safe because you're going to have to go back to it. But as soon as you come up across him, you can knock him off like that. And now, like I said, he's bulletproof. You can't even lock onto him. But he can shoot you. So what do you do? Well, you gotta run up and you gotta punch him or knock him out, something like that. It's really annoying. Hey, you got the bag? Nothing, mate, nothing. It's just a porter geezer. Bring it back here and let's get moving then. But that's it, pretty much. I mean, it's relatively simple except for the annoyance of that. But once you get all that done, you get him back to the club it's all good and all but but for saving a bunch of time just go ahead and call in a night shark your duke of death something like that the insurgent something that has some ramming power so you can just knock that dude off the bike and it's got to be something speedy too or you won't be able to catch up to him because he's going to be on a motorcycle but other than that it's not too bad and then you get to go in here and have the dude hook up your new set and it's all pretty cool Alright, well this is Grey Witch. I hope this video helps you out and I will see you next time. Peace!